What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again, and it's here, guys. You can see we've got a hundred players' choice crates. We've actually got 20 elevation crates. Hang on with me as we jump into this journey. We're actually going to open these elevations first, and you guys guessed it right. Double XP, two times drop rate is live. This is the crate opening video, and we're just going to get it rolling. Now, the question that you're asking is, why are we opening these elevations? One, I've got the extra keys, <laughs> so we're going to crack some elevations. But two, um, just kind of get the hype going. And like I said, I just I wanted this to be an awesome episode. And two times, uh, two times experience going on right now. It just kicked off today. If you're watching this, it's pretty late for me right now so you might actually be watching this the second day that it's live um, if you are watching this and it happens to be Thursday and you're in the United States happy Thanksgiving to everybody hopefully you guys if you are in the United States or you celebrate Thanksgiving um, one happy Thanksgiving to you two uh, hopefully you're enjoying the time with friends family and doing all that great stuff and again thank you so much for just hanging out with me for it's it's not gonna be a small portion of your day it's gonna be a longer portion of the day um, because this is going to be a long video, but we're going to get cracking open. Um, we've got a couple things actually to talk through, so we'll have some news inside of this too. Uh, you know, again, like to try to keep you guys as much up to date as we can on what's going on with the Rocket League uh, community and everything going on. So we've got some news uh, as we crank through these. But um, like I said, we've got 20 elevations. We're going to run through these just because I had so much fun with this crate, and then we're going to jump straight into 100 PCCs. I'm going to tell you this right now: the PCCs. Oh my gosh, please stop. Dude, that would have been just nuts if we could have spiked a wet paint. Um, yeah, the PCC, it got the refresh. So if you guys watched the previous video or stay in tune to kind of what's going on in Rocket League, they did a refresh on the PCC. Uh, we got the opportunity over the last couple of days before the refresh today to vote on it. This PCC, in my opinion, is the best PCC crate I think personally we've had. Um, we will take a look at it, what it's got in it. These are expensive to pick up right now. Again, depending on platform, you can kind of feel out what's expensive, what's not as far as Xbox. Comparative to what they were before the two times and comparative to now, they are expensive. Now granted, this is the time to open them. This is the time to try to spike um, those awesome black markets. Uh, some most of which can be painted in the the new PCC plus the awesome exotics. We will cover that, but 100%. This is the best. Again, in my opinion, this is the best PCC we've had, just because it is such a good crate for the community. Now everybody's not going to agree, right? Everybody has their personal opinions. Some wheels they don't like, some of the decals, some things like that. Some of the cars they're not going to be a big fan of. But again, me personally. This is the best one we've had uh, of the three. This is now the third iteration. This is the second refresh, and uh, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to get the PCCs. But like I said, really wanted to see how we could start off with the elevations. What's interesting is again, I know, <laughs> I know the double rate is live, and we have yet to see a painted item, uh, which is not a good start. Um, but we will get there. We will get there. We got a Nimbus. We got a certified Nimbus. Again, if you're not familiar, if you didn't watch the previous video, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and what's going on right now, we have two times experience going on. So this is the last couple of days for the current Rocket Pass. Uh, and again, we'll get to the news here in just a little bit. Uh, but la last current chance for the Rocket Pass. So two times XP is now live uh, for the next couple of days. Ends on Monday. And then, um, and then in conjunction with that is a double drop rate. Double drop in this instance is the same thing as double painted. So crates are dropping at a two times rate. So hopefully you guys can see some of these new refreshed PCCs. And uh, I don't know if they changed the formula as far as what the drop percentage of PCC is, but having a two times chance of getting a crate therefore then increases your chance to pick up a PCC, which is pretty cool, which again is the one that I would want to open 100%. And uh, it's also double painted. So anything that you pull out of a crate, anything that you do from, say, a rare or very rare or import to exotic trade up, um, all has a double chance of being painted, whether it be from a crate. Obviously, if you're doing, um, you know, uh, imports and things like that or very rare to imports, those are always painted if they're not from a crate. But anything that you would trade up has a double chance of being painted. Um, so it, it's a great time. Like I said, these are the these are the moments, the few 
that we get each year in my in my opinion we're going to start to see this maybe maybe twice if we're lucky maybe three times a year these are the time to open crates and these are the time to do the trade-ups so again kind of the other reason we're throwing uh, some and there's our first painted item but kind of some of the other reason we're throwing some elevations in, in again is i've got a bunch of elevation trade-ups to do so i kind of want to increase my chances this is just the start for this weekend again trying to fit all this stuff in with family and stuff going on for actual thanksgiving but before the weekend is out we will get the trade-up video done as well it's going to be a longer one too so again hopefully you can throw it on maybe in between at halftime of football or whatever sport you're watching. I know college basketball is going to be going on uh, for me tomorrow night, which I'm super excited for. But uh, just, again, thank you for hanging out with the channel. Um, there's probably going to be a lot of these going up for the big YouTubers uh, just because this is, again, an absolute awesome time to open crates. So you're probably going to be flooded with it. But uh, if you stumbled upon this video and you're new, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed it, Throw a like, throw a sub down there, really helps us out. If you've been around the channel for a while, sincerely thank you for your continued support. It means the world, and uh, we're just having fun. We're having fun doing this, and like I said, this for us, for me, uh, right now, and for Sloth, uh, is just like the best possible time to be able to crack some crates and to be able to hang out with you guys. So super excited for that. Can we paint this? We've seen one painted item so far. Can we paint this bad boy? Certify. We're seeing a lot of certifications. It's one thing, you know, they don't say that certification numbers have jumped up. In my opinion, they always have. That might just be biased based on what, you know, we're actually looking for. It's, it, I don't think it's grounded in fact anywhere, so don't, nobody quote me on it. But um, I've always felt like the certifications kind of ramp up a little bit too, uh, just because of the double drop. But uh, we'll see here. So 20 elevations. We're getting the bad luck out of the way first. Again, we've seen... <laughs> I'm not doing it justice right now because we've seen one painted item so far. Um, we've had some opportunities for some great painted items. It might spike us a painted synth wave. I'd be okay if it didn't because, again, great trade-up fodder, and it didn't. They're certified, so that's okay. So those are out of the way, and now we're going to get to the good stuff. So let's talk really quickly about this crate. If you have not seen this or if you don't have one in your inventory, crate refresh happened. Everybody voted. Everybody did great jobs on the voting, in my opinion. Again, probably, in my opinion, the best PCC we've seen so far. Here's why. You've got two really solid Octane rare decals. These are great. We haven't seen Dragon Lord in a while. Lone Wolf has also been a while since we've seen it last. Fantastic. Octane is the most used car. Of course, these are going to get voted for. But these are just really solid decals. Really, really cool. So super excited to get these opportunities to get these painted. Pearlescent matte is really solid finish. You can't see it on the car because I got the black market. It is what it is. It's good in the rare spot. Honestly, we need some stuff that we're going to trade up anywhere. Anyways, Starlighter is the same thing. I think it's interesting that this one got voted, but for the rare options, I don't know that there was much else. Um, and a lot of people do use the Jaeger. It's a pretty popular car as far as an import body. So not surprised to see this, but for us, these two are going to be great trade up fodder. Dominus Funny Book, solid, solid pick. Dominus is another very heavily used car. These things look absolutely awesome painted, and they are great for three color combinations. So if you've got like Zombas or anything else like that, where you really need to match some specific colors, getting some paints on these make those things just absolutely pop, and they are fantastic. So great rare picks. The very rares we did, phenomenal. In. Chakrams are awesome. Reapers are absolutely great. Gaidens, another really, really solid wheel. And then Humanes, even though we just got them, very very popular right now and i'm not surprised again you got to think of the pcc pcc is a long-term crate that people really try to stock up and like to open and uh so i just throwing it out there really really solid at the very rare uh, it was pretty much only wheels that we could pick from and i think we honestly picked the best ones um but really good options again you'd be you'd be stoked a lot of people would be stoked to pick up um some painted humanes or some painted chakrams so really happy with that Imports is where we die out a little bit, in my opinion, but I think of the options, these were the best. We get the Jaeger, the Comet, and the Twinser. Um, good picks. I love, personally, I'm super stoked about this because I love the Twinser and I love the Jaeger. I used both these cars for a long time. Not a huge fan of the Comet Boost, but again, of what was available, solid picks. Here's where it gets nuts. Look at these three exotics that we have, okay? Let's just talk about this right now. Zombas and Dracos are back. And then we get infiniums. 
I, I, we could not have done better here. It, it, again, in my opinion, we could not have possibly done better. I don't need to say anything else about the exotic level. If we get any of these painted, super stoked. If we get these painted and they're white, huge. White on these, huge. White on these, absolutely huge. All fantastic looking wheels. Super stoked for any of them. Obviously, we want the Zombas first. But again, if we get any of these three, really, really solid wheels. Look great with a lot of cars. I think a lot of people are going to be happy. And then we pop off even more to, again, get Dissolver, which is a f fantastic black market decal that hasn't been in another crate. Uh, so that's an important note here. Then we get Fire God. Fire God, again, really, really solid input. And then we get Mainframe and Solar Flare, arguably arguably the two best most recent um well one's a black market decal one's a goal explosion these things just have a lot of community pull a lot of people really like these you guys saw me if you were paying attention to some of the other videos i got a titanium white one of these um just fantastic so if we spike any of these black markets i'm going to be super pumped if we can get a mainframe painted i'll be even more pumped same thing with solar flare but again we hit any black market here we you cannot lose so I'm super stoked, like I said. Um, what do we want here? I think we want to paint a mainframe. We're going to go with that, and we're going to start cracking this. But like I said, this crate, just so good. So pumped for this. This is what, honestly, the kind of the gambler's mentality in me lives for. Uh, I, I'm just, I, there's not going to be a whole lot in here that if we get, I'm going to be uh, disappointed with. We're going to start off with just a regular Octane Dragonlord. Totally fine again. The, the key for this is, is basically anything that we don't get painted is going to be, I mean, almost instant trade-up fodder. And I actually am sitting on some PCC trade-ups from the last huge PCC opening. Did we just get, if these are white, if these are white, I'm losing my freaking mind. These are white, dude. The second crate. See? <laughs> I don't have words I already have a pair of these in white from the last PCC opening this is oh my gosh guys it's over I'm just, episode end I don't know how many minutes we're at we're like at 12 minutes I'm done we don't need anything what else are we gonna do we just spiked white Dracos dude these so you have to go back if you're new to the channel or haven't been around for a while Go back to the last, we did a 200 PCC opening, and we did some trade-ups. These ones, these Dracos that you're seeing here that are goalkeeper are from Player's Choice Series 1. We now have new Player's Choice <laughs> Series 1 Titanium White Dracos on the second crate. <laughs> oh my gosh. If Can we just please... Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I don't even... I honestly, I'm like seriously debating cutting this right now and just saying we opened... <laughs> we got these just fantastic wheels um, and selling these crates just because they're so good right now. We got to keep opening. For you guys, we'll keep opening and, and obviously that's what we're here for. I just... I am... The smile on my face cannot... I, I cannot emphasize enough in my voice. We... I personally have been so lucky with PCC crates and white uh, Dracos. I, that was the third pair. That's the crazy thing. After the trade-ups and everything, we got two white. We get a painted forest green Twinser, which looks just dope. Um, the double painted is clearly live, as you can see. Once we got into the PCCs, they kicked it up a notch for us. And that's why we did the 20 elevations at the beginning to get the crap luck out of the way, because that is just... I, I'm I'm blown away. I don't have words. Um, it just and we we get a paint of lone wolf. Let's go. That's lime, guys. I am just I cannot believe that. Sincerely, the titanium white Dracos. If you go back and watch some of the other videos, and again they're longer, um, it's just our white Draco luck has just been absolutely insane. Um, like I said, that is the third pair from PCC uh, that we've picked up. I just and the second crate of all of the crates to get them on. At first, I thought they were gray. Sincerely, I thought they were gray. I thought I was going to be upset. <laughs> we got a little bit of a lag here, so we can hit anything. Funny book again, solid. Um, I mean, I'm I, honestly, 
I can't be mad. Painted certified, solid. I think that's sky blue. You guys know I love that sky blue love. Um, I mean, we're set. I mean, that is, we all, we really honestly could not have done much better than that unless those had been Zombas. I mean, I still want the Zombas. I'm, that is probably one of the, that's probably the top tier item um, that I've been looking to pick up uh, and unbox myself in Titanium White the most. That would really, I think, cap off the crate openings and, and all that kind of stuff and the trade-ups for me at that point. But to hit White Dracos, and just stand it just over. Let's go. Ah, I don't have words, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I have to like. It's later when I'm recording this. My daughter's asleep next to me. We're nine crates in, and we hit <laughs> titanium white dracos in a dissolver. Like I said, I can't be mad about. The black market decals because they're absolutely freaking nuts every single one of them um we absolutely are just popping off at the beginning of this i cannot even <laughs> describe this to you guys i mean if we i don't i don't even want to go there i was gonna say if we spike anything else i mean we're I'm pumped. Happy Thanksgiving. Like, sincerely, like, I hope all of you are having as good of a day as I am having right now with this opening. Um, and a good weekend whenever you're watching this. Even if you're watching this weeks after uh, the holidays are over. Um, I, if you're having a crappy day, hopefully this is putting a smile on your face. Just Or scratching your head like I am right now because I could just not believe the block. Um, it's insane. I don't... <laughs> I'm super pumped for the trade-ups now. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I'm riding that. I'm riding that. Uh, I'm riding the high of spiking these, spiking these absolutely awesome items. White Dracos and a Dissolver. Uh, you know, arguably some of the best stuff in the crate. I mean, uh, painted Jaeger, painted Twinser. I mean, I think this is. This might be orange. Maybe burnt sienna. Not sure. That's definitely orange. Solid painted and certified. I mean, let's go. We've got plenty more to go. So, it, I I hope you didn't. I hope if you're still here, I hopefully you didn't get uh, too upset with the elevation crates to start us off. Hopefully you didn't think I was trolling you guys or anything, because uh, we spiked some solid goodies here at the beginning. <laughs> oh man, we got that dragon lord. Ooh, baby. Uh, like I said, I again, hopefully, whenever you're watching this, hopefully you're having a great day. If you're not, hopefully this is putting a smile on your face because it's definitely putting a big smile on my face. Now, I would love to see some of these painted too. I love these wheels painted. Um, chalks are uh, just a really, really solid wheel. I love them. Like I said, guys, I just, I mean, if you can figure out a way, can trade a couple, if you got a cup, some spare keys maybe from the Rocket Pass, just take some take some take a couple shots at open some of these i mean just such a good crate especially if here's the other nice thing about this is uh it's done a good job of what they've put in to be kind of you know fresh and new specifically like the black markets i like that because people really want the newer stuff with the black markets but then some of the older stuff getting kind of spiked in here and thrown around and um you know some of the decals a couple of the import cars i know the twins are a little bit newer but um, I, again, I just think they did such a good job and as a community, obviously it was a community vote. Um, but we just did such a good job at the community of like, if you just pick the game up and you haven't been playing it for too long, this is still a really solid pickup for these crate and what you can pull. And this is another painted twins or this might also be orange. This might actually be burnt sienna. That's the burnt sienna one. So we got orange and burnt sienna again, solid. I'll take any, you know, painted imports are really great. And, uh. Man, I just, I mean, again, some of the older wheels at the very rare slot that have some really cool stuff. But, and again, then you got a new, a newer set uh, of wheels with the Yamains in there. I mean, I just, I can't say enough about this crate. I think we did re really, really solid job on the op on the, the voting uh, of, of what we put in here. And again, these will have some longevity. So I, can't, I don't know what the last PCC refresh time frame was from the last one to this one. Um, but obviously it, you know this is going to have some longevity so it's going to stay a pretty good crate for uh, at least a while which is which is really cool and uh I, I just can't say enough about it i think again the community voted and i know they they did say in the website 
uh, they released the results maybe two days ago that there's some voting that was really, really close. Sky Blue, let's go! Let's go, baby! I think we have these already, actually, which is okay. Um, really, really solid. Solid, solid, solid. Great opening there. Um, Painted Humanes, again, super, super stoked for those. You guys know I love that Sky Blue love. Um, Sky Blue is definitely my color on top of white. We'll take some more white stuff. Zombas, you know what I'm saying? But uh, just really, really solid. So let's get into some of the news uh, as we just kind of keep clicking through here. So we got some news as well as far as the last update for 2018 for Rocket League. Uh, coming in December, I think they said the 3rd of December. I could be wrong on the date. Uh, don't quote me on that side of things. But, um, but we got the last update. And what the last update is coming with is coming with a couple of different things. Um, I don't have it up in front of me to remember specifically. The biggest thing coming from the update uh, is Xbox One X support. So full 4K, um, they're doing the full thing. If you don't play in 4K, sweet, Painted Reapers for our screen, love them. Um, if you don't play in 4K, like I have an Xbox One X but don't have a 4K TV, there's still some additional uh, benefits for that uh, and some things that are going on. But that's the big update to finish out 2018. They're, they're adding a couple other things. They're gonna do some couple more cosmetic flags. Uh, a couple of other things like that. Purple Painted Gaidens. So we're really starting to pop off with the Painted Love, which is absolutely awesome. These look sick too. These are great. A lot of certifications too, like I said. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, we're quarter of the way through with these. Um, so we get a couple other things there. We get the Xbox One X support um, and full, you know, full side of things with that, which is which is really really cool. Um, that's really what the big update is. Again, that's going to come out some somewhere around the beginning of December. Um, the neat thing about that, though, that they also did throw in there, is they said is very soon, closer to the release, is that we have the Frosty Fest event coming up uh, for December. So obviously that's going to be before the end of uh, the end of the year. Obviously for you know the Christmas time frame, would have loved to see these painted, but I'm okay with snagging an exotic that's not. And um, so we got that coming up. That was confirmed. They did say that they're going to have more details than that. And then they also talked about Rocket Pass 2, which is coming up, which in addition to the update, they talked about doing some additional um, Xbox or Xbox XP um, adjustments. So they're going to do some additional XP adjustments, um, which they said in the post is going to include more weekly wins. We had talked about this maybe a little bit before in a previous video, but they had updated the weekly wins to be a baseline experience uh, at 2,500. You get a couple per day. I think it's three per day. The ability or for them to add just a couple of more, especially as they look at Rocket Pass number two. Um, I've said this all along, but I'm really excited to see what they do with the second Rocket Pass because I think they've really listened to the community on what the first Rocket Pass was either lacking or what people didn't like or did like and I think the XP additions again specifically putting in the additional um, weekly wins is a really really good idea um, and something that the community was asking for because again people want to be able to progress through especially as you start start talking about some of the beginning levels where people are just really trying to grind um, and it was a pretty steep curve to try to start from the beginning uh, and play enough that you could get past the initial 70 levels to start getting into the, some of the painted and certified items. Um, you know, that's, in my opinion, that's why people want it. Obviously, a lot of the stuff inside of it is cool, and the progression to that point is neat. Um, and these are really solid. Like, I mean, we're just, we're hitting some pretty solid force. We're going to have a full four screen setup at this point with Reapers, Chakrams, and the Twinser. Uh, so those are pretty cool. But uh, I, I'm just I'm excited for this. Again, we, we got the update and we got some details about Xbox One X support and what's coming there. I'm really excited to see Frosty Fest event and what they end up doing um, with the next Rocket Pass. I think that's the big two big things coming coming first. Is this titanium white? Oh my gosh, guys! It is for sure. There's no way that's not. If that's gray, I mean who cares it looks beautiful but i'm pretty sure that's titanium white we are freaking popping off right now this is so sweet and we we have more than halfway to go to this is just nuts um i'm just really excited to see what they do with it like i said rocket pass 2 i'm super excited for 
I'm going to make sure I've got enough keys to be able to obviously pick that up. And again, if you, you bought the premium version this time, and hopefully you played long enough to get enough keys to be able to get the next one for free. So, you know, the whole system really works out. Again, extra XP bonuses, weekly XP, some, some modifications to how that progression system is going to work is all solid, really, really good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. These are sky blue. These are sky blue. And again, you guys know how much I love, you know, maybe not. Those might be, I don't know. Those are hard to tell. They look kind of cobalty. They look cobalt. I could be wrong. They might not be sky blue in the, in the thumbnail. They look sky blue, but that's okay. Solid. Again, another solid pull. Those painted really, really sweet. Um, I'm just really excited. So that's just the bare news. Again, I apologize for not having it up in front of me and reading verbatim. I will link, if I remember, I will link the um, the actual forum post down below so you guys can take a look at it and uh, and read through it. But I, we're going to get a lot more information. In my opinion, they said closer to the release. My opinion, I think we're going to see some stuff next week about it and it'll probably go live the first week of December. That's just my opinion. Um, I just don't see them. You know, typically we get three weeks for the for the events, Frosty Fest event specifically. That's painted. I can't. I don't remember what the comment. I think it's the color in the middle. So that might be saffron. It's either saffron or purple. I think it's saffron. I'm not sure. Solid. That's really cool. Again, another another solid pickup. Um, but I, I really expect to get some more information pretty soon. And uh, with that being said, solid. I think we're gonna see some some really cool stuff. I'm just I'm hopeful for Rocket Pass 2 and then obviously I'm hopeful for Frosty Fest event because I think um, the Frosty Fest event that they did last year uh, was just so good <laughs> you know was just so good uh, the wheels and the crate and everything they brought into it was just uh, absolutely awesome I think we'll they're gonna change it up a little bit obviously um, I'm not sure if we'll see a, a crate that you can buy I think the Halloween event kind of showed us that they're probably not going to do that but again, they might change that back and forth. It really all depends. Uh, and again, it depends what was in, in the crate. I, I think just where they've been going, I think we're going to see, you know, a golden present or something like that where everybody gets free and has a couple of last crate items in it. Those I think are really, really cool uh, and a neat uh, idea that they continue to run with just because, again, you can open them for free. And I know there's the conversation about grinding them on spare accounts and all that blah 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 whatever if you're gonna spend the time to it do it big deal but uh you know i i think the way they've been doing it with the with the golden eggs and the presents or the golden pumpkins has been really awesome these so i'm a big reaper fan i'm pretty sure these are titanium white and certified yep they are um i'm almost positive because yep that's painted uh, yep i'm almost positive we are just absolutely just going off right now on titanium white items if this is if any time this is going to happen the white zombas are happening right now they're happening in this opening i feel it i'm predicting it that's what i'm saying it's just my gut feeling because we're hitting so many white items we're gonna spike them or during the trade-ups um, i'll give myself that option i just i mean look at what we've gotten so far in titanium white it's been really good <laughs> so um i guess we'll just have to cross our fingers and see here another black market would just be absolutely nuts um you know you can throw that this might be white honestly i'm not sure because my i don't i didn't i didn't do a good job of doing like a baseline card to be able to see the color so i apologize i should have i should have done the primary and secondary to be the same color so we absolutely know but uh Solid opening so far. Again, these Dominus Funny Books are so good. They're such a good decal. Having them to come back, getting them to be painted. This is is that the same color? Might be gray. I really don't know, guys. At, at this point, <laughs> I'll be, I'm happy with anything. <laughs> I'm in a great. This second crate going in being titanium white Dracos has just put me in a freaking fantastic mood. Um, we're gonna get a comment here we can paint this and be fine with that pretty sure we got a white one of these already <laughs> certified certified solid 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 again great we're looking for import trade-ups that's the other nice thing any import we spike that isn't painted is just one step closer to a uh, potential painted exotic on the back end for the trade-ups like i said i don't know when that video is going to go up i know this one's going to be a longer one 
Um, that's solid. That's cobalt, I'm pretty sure. But again, these just this decal looks so cool on this car. Such a good the paint on it. They did such a good job. That's why I'm so so hyped about this crate. Just because again, we got so much good stuff in it. Just packed into one crate. Now I wish I know this is probably one thing that the community is saying a lot, uh, and I agree with this sentiment. We need to get rid of some of the older crates. Keep the PCCs in. Keep it to like a three crate rotation. I would be totally fine with. I, I, I mean, in my opinion, do the newest crate, the two older crates, or maybe three older crates from that, and the PCC. Keep it at that. As soon as you come out with another one, rotate one of the older ones out. I, I'm just that's just me. I think a lot of people agree with me. Just because the normal crate drop rate is pretty low, I feel like it's been a little bit better recently. Uh, but that also might be me just playing a lot more and me just trying to you know work through the rocket pass and level up um, so it might feel like they're coming sooner I, I don't know this is a purple twinser freaking solid we've got a lot of really good painted imports today I'm super stoked about that is just beautiful I really like the twinser I might go back to it we'll see um, so yeah, so I think we, we need to get the rate for PCCs to jump up a little bit, especially with how cool this crate is. Let's get rid of some of the other stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I think, I have a feeling that we'll see something along that lines come soon, especially if we talk talk about maybe doing, and then doing another crate. I don't know if we'll see another crate um, during Rocket Pass or soon after the Rocket Pass or during the Frosty Fest event. I feel like they try not to do that, to stack too much on top of each other. Uh, but we've also seen them do that where they do kind of stack it on top of each other. So it's kind of a tough call uh, on what we're going to see. Uh, I, again, I think I speak for a lot of people in the community that they want to see some of the older crates rotate out. Um, kind of put those on the back burner and that's fine. You've got some great stuff with the new PCC in there. That is a good reflection of a lot of those crates. It's time to get them out of there so that the pulls are a little bit smaller. Now this is white, 100%. This is a painted white uh, Octane Lone Wolf. And I know that because the primary color is white. Everything else, especially the wolf's mane, would be a different color, and it is not. So we just now hit a Octane Lone Wolf painted white. We're going to check all of this <laughs> after we are done. Uh, because I have to just, we have to just kind of condense for everyone how absolutely crazy this is so if you're if you're at this point you're like i don't want to watch the rest of these crates and hear this guy mumble uh for the next uh however long this is gonna take jump to the last i don't know five minutes of the video if you like and you can get the full run through and me reminisce on how awesome this was so far because so far it's been absolutely great <laughs> um and i know it's a lot of crates so thank you again for hanging out with me for so long but we're just, uh, we're half, we've got, we're over the halfway mark for these. So I'm going to continue to open them as quick as I can unless we hit something else really, really solid and I have to admire it a little bit. I'm fine continuing to get these Octane Lone Wolf painted. I, again, it's just such a good decal. Nope. Standard one there, which is totally fine. Good for the trade up fodder. Um, Here's the other thing, now, you know, people ask this question a lot. I get this question, you know, periodically from some of the folks in the community. Ooh, are these black? Oh, this would be sweet if these were black. I can't tell if they're black or gray. These are black and they're certified. Please be striker. This would be so sweet if these were striker. Those are black for sure. Gosh, what a good pull. See, again, those kinds of wheels right there. That wheel specifically is one of the uh, kind of upper echelon. It's a really sought after, well, pretty well sought after um, black wheel. Gosh, that is awesome. Um, again, what I was going back to say was, you know, that I get this question a lot, right? And people ask, should I, should, if I have a couple of crates or I have some keys, um, specifically if I have crates or I have PCC imports, maybe from the last PCC or so just some random crates I've cracked open. Should I open them or should I trade them? My response to that is, it depends. And that's a terrible response because people want a definitive answer. But let me explain my answer a little bit. It depends what you want. What do you want out of it? If you're really excited about the items inside the crates and you've got a couple of these um, and you would be happy with some painted very rare wheels or a painted rare decal 
or maybe a painted import. Um, say you've got five or ten of these and you've got the keys to open them, then I would say open them. Because while you still have a decent chance of being disappointed with a double drop rate weekend, double painted, you've got a pretty good chance of being of getting something that you're going to be excited for. Again, it might not be the color or the certification that you want, but if you just keep an open mind and you're just like, hey, it'd be cool to open something, one of these. And again, you might be get super lucky like I did and then the first f nine crates spike titanium white dracos and a uh and a black market you might have that luck you might not you might get all rare decals that's just the that's the gamble uh, of playing this and opening these but again what i would say is if you're excited about the crate and what's in it and the prospect of grabbing something painted open them now's your time to open them save them for later if you if you have them after this event because after this event that's my opinion is you keep you keep them after the event and you trade them and you just trade for the item you want if you are instead looking for a specific item that's not in this crate um, trade these now trade the imports now trade any of the trade ups that you can the very rares are going to be worth something the imports are going to be worth something trade any of that stuff now trade the crates now you're going to be able to get if you have a couple of these right now is the peak selling time for these as far as getting keys back Trade them now, grab the keys, because the keys are going to be valuable for you picking up whatever you want. Whether it's a pair of titanium white zombas, maybe it's something a little less than that, you're just looking to pick up. Please be another dissolver. Guys. I, the, this, this may be the best um, crate opening that we've ever had. It's, it's, we are going to have to look at colors. Uh, and I'm not just trying to skip through this. I'm, I'm, I have to formulate some thoughts here. Uh, that's absolutely just freaking awesome. Um, two dissolvers, which is arguably uh, minus a painted mainframe, is arguably the best of the uh, rare uh, black market decals we can get. Titanium white dracos, and then all the other little stuff stacked on top of this has just been just insane and again we're doing 100 crates of these so again i did a 200 opening and i spiked quite a few black markets but again you did 200 crates uh we're doing 100 here and we have 30 we have a third less or third more to go uh, it, i mean man two dissolvers guys two dissolvers painted purple your main wheels let's go guys let's go so, this is I take back everything I said about, you know, trading these. You just open them. You're going to spike something awesome. No. <laughs> I, I mean, again, here's the other thing that, you know, this is my basis for answering this question, too. You, you, anybody watching this, whether you're new to the channel or been around a while, if you've been around a while, you know that I've opened a ton of crates. So you have seen uh, not all of the crate openings. There's been a couple that I've done. That I've just done personally for myself, especially before really the we started getting heavy into the youtube thing um again but i've done a lot of crate op openings and you've seen a lot of them a lot of them have been really poop um if you go back we did a we did a crate opening series where we did four weeks in a row of cracking some crates um that was a good example of the the ups and downs of this so again this the system is against no come on uh, that's frustrating. I would have liked to see these painted. Um, I was hoping that if we hit Zombas, the one time we would hit them, we would get them painted. That's okay. Again, not disappointed. I would just, I was really hopeful to hit those and then obviously have them be painted. But we're okay. It's still a really solid opening at this point. Um, but again, I've done a lot of these. I've opened a ton of the crates. I can tell you that, again, from my personal perception, um, you know, and you, you probably see YouTube videos out there where people feel, you know, you just see them cracking just crazy stuff. Guess what? You don't know what they do in the background. You don't know how many crates they open to get to that point. You've seen, for this channel, you've seen a lot of the crates that have been opened. Um, I would say the vast majority of them, um, for a long time, you've seen them. And you've seen the ups and downs. We've had crate openings where we don't get a lick of anything. And again, this is Double Painted Weekend. So your rates are up. You've seen a lot of painted items here, which is really cool. Like I said, my, my, my advice still stands. If there's something in the crate that really entices you, or and it doesn't have to be, it shouldn't be one single item, okay? If you're like me and you really want to spike titanium white zombas, 
this is probably not the way to go about getting them. I want to get them because I want to be able to say that I opened them because that's kind of the, the neat um, part for me. Just having them is cool, but I want to be able to say that I opened them, right? Um, if you don't care about that, which most people don't, they just want to have the item uh, to be able to kind of show off. Again, this is not the way to go about doing it. But if you see a lot of stuff in the crate and you're as excited about the crate that I am, um, as I am, then open some of them. Because again, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. My other opinion or my other thought on that though is if you do end up opening them, don't open one at a time. Okay? Because what's going to end up happening is if you open two or three, right, and and say you maybe have two or three sitting and you open them and you get a bunch of rare decals, it's going to kind of put a sour taste in your mouth. If you've got, I don't know, five or ten, and that's what you can afford to open because you got the keys and they're kind of sitting there, then you know what? Open those because I don't think, I think in those, you, again, your quantity is going to give you a better chance to grab something. That's just how statistics and math work. Um, but do that. I think you'll be happy with what you end up pulling. Again, you could really strike out and get a bunch of unpainted decals, but... If there's a bunch of stuff in the crate, open it. If you've got them, if you can, if you can do something with it. If there's not, and there's only one or two specific items you want, trade the crates now for keys. Hang on to the keys and find the trade later. Plenty of sites to be able to do that. Plenty of options to be able to do that. Um, and and again, plenty of people that probably have a lot of the items that you're looking for. Um, if it's again titanium white zombies, you're gonna have to work towards it. But do that. That's crimson solid do that but take these opportunities now again very rares the imports your crates all, everything has gone up in price and it's only going to stay there for the next two days or so um as the double painted weekend kind of drives on prices kind of spike up and then people spend all their keys that's crimson and certified <laughs> um people people spend all their keys and then the you know the man kind of drops off and again as of after Monday, this is not going to be an option anymore. And these crates are still going to be valuable, but not nearly as valuable as they are at this current moment. So that's my advice. If, you, if you've ever been wondering or have my thought on it, again, for me and for this channel, I like doing this for you guys. I like doing this for me because it's a ton of fun. I get some absolutely crazy items like I do every once in a while. But again, go back if you've ever been really curious go back the statistics are true on these items and some people have some better luck than others uh, that's just just how life works some people have better luck than others again you've seen other youtubers uh, there's quite a few of them that open a lot of crates um, but if you go back and you watch a lot of their crate openings back to back you're gonna see a lot of them have bad crate openings where they just don't get anything and then some of them have absolutely astronomical crate openings uh, where they get a lot so that's just my advice. I just thought I'd share that. I know we're late into the video, but I thought I'd share that because that question does come up a lot. And uh, and now is the time again if you're just trying to get into trading too, and you've got you've been lucky enough to grab a couple of these crates or had a couple of them. Sell them. You know what I mean. Sell them. Trade them. I say sell them. You guys know what I mean. Trade them, and uh, and and grab some keys off of them, and then use the keys to work towards your item uh, that you're going for because that's the currency now. Um, Currency used to be heat waves uh, and is not anymore now that we've got keys. Keys in the new currency. It's keys have made it's so much easier to grab certain items, in my opinion. Uh, the the bigger tier items, straight key offers are the what are what gets people going. If you want to grab a white octane, you can go pick one up right now for X amount of keys. 100 percent I know you could if you posted it. It might take you a couple hours to find one, but if you're posting at the rate of what it's going for, you're going to pick it up. Um, that wasn't always the case, again, when the you know the black markets and stuff were going on. Um, still pretty close to that, but again, I think you guys know what I'm saying. And You've got an opportunity now where you can make some profit on what you got, and, uh, and that's the way to go. If you just like the crate and like opening them, open some crates, man. Great time to do it. This is the best time. The best time for both worlds, in my opinion, because uh, you get the best of both depending on what you're you're trying to strive for. And I would tell you, you know, pick something to strive for. That's the other thing people ask. They want to. People are always, oh, can I make profit on this, man? If I if I was trying to do this to make profit, to make keys, um, I would not be opening these right now. I'm just telling you that 100%. The statistics don't line up with this. Um, you know, the keys and stuff that I'd be able to tra trade the three items that I picked up today that are super valuable 
yes, could I probably make a little bit more than I could trade the crates for at this point? Yeah, sure. Is it going to take me more time? Yeah, probably. And uh, that's just kind of how it goes. And so, I don't know. Just interesting. I didn't mean to go on a, a kind of a tirade about crate openings and stuff like that. But that question always seems to come up, especially when we do bigger openings and people see my inventory with, you know, a, a healthy amount of items. It's definitely not the craziest inventory out there. Um, but you just got to understand there's a lot of time that's gone into that. And there's just been a lot of, honestly, a lot of real world money to buy keys and do the previous crate openings. And now time spent trading and things like that. So um, do what makes you happy. That's my biggest goal. That's my biggest advice. Do what makes you happy. Enjoy whatever it is that you end up doing. And, uh, if you end up getting really lucky, like I seem to have been for this crate opening, more power to you. And hopefully my advice pays off for you. So we've got 10 left. We've now hit our second painted pink Twinser. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm ecstatic, guys. I mean, I, I cannot honestly believe, again, we hit the second Dissolver. The two crates in being <laughs> Titanium White Dracos, I, I can't. That's the best start to an opening I've ever had. And uh, we're going to get a regular pair of Dracos to bring us back down to the real world a little bit. And uh, I think we've got maybe eight left certified. We have eight left. So um, I'm super stoked. I know we've got a lot of imports. We got a lot of non-painted imports. We got a lot of decals that were not painted as well. I'm really, really looking forward to the trade-ups for this. I think the trade-ups are going to be absolutely awesome. Again, no guarantees on when that's going to come out, but we're going to try to do it as soon as we can into the weekend. Uh, again, just respecting some family time and some things that are going on, especially with the holiday. And uh, just stay tuned to the channel. Again, thank you so much. I'll just say this now. Thank you sincerely so much for spending the time. Again, if you're new, Throw that like just for the crazy luck that I had today. Throw that like down there. Throw that sub. Helps the channel out. Helps us let us know that you're enjoying the content. And uh, we were trying to do a little bit more. We had some Pokemon Let's Go uh, go up just a couple of days ago. Some of my initial impressions. I'm still working out what we're going to do with that. Um, I've got some Call of Duty uh, Black Ops that I want to, Black Ops 4 that I want to get uh, some, some video up on as well. So just again, stay tuned for all that kind of stuff. Stay tuned to the channel. We've got, again, I, I really suspect in the next week or so to get some more information about Frosty Fest and about Rocket Pass 2. So we'll be bringing that to you as soon as we can. And then we'll see what we're going to end up doing with Rocket Pass. Um, but obviously we're going to continue with the news for Rocket League and continue with uh, just any additional content that we can do for you. We've been doing okay on the channel as far as pretty consistent updates. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Uh, and consistent videos again it's not gonna be every day but we're gonna try to do at least a couple of videos each week so the, all the love and support we really really do appreciate it as we kind of close this this thing out and uh, again we just do this for fun so we appreciate it like I said the likes the support again throw some comments down below if you guys open any of these up I love to hear what you guys open I love to hear your thoughts I uh, love to see your reactions on on any of this kind of stuff I love chatting with you guys too uh, if you've if you've thrown something down in the comments, you know, uh, again, not the best at it, but we do try to kind of respond back and, and say hey to everybody uh, if you throw something down there. So just appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. We've got two left. Second to last one. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just, this was this was just a good opening. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, uh, the, again, we, we really could have only done better in one regard. Uh, the wheels instead of being Dracos could have been Zombas. Beyond that, I, I really can't argue. Again, the statistics to hit two black markets, the same black market, and again, arguably one of the best black markets is just nuts. I, I'm really excited to see what the aftermath is on this. Um, that's painted too. That's painted too. So let's see what the aftermath uh, is here. I'm just. <laughs> I'm so pumped guys I am so freaking pumped to see this all right so let's take a look here hopefully it doesn't screw us up too much but we're just gonna run through so we got cobalt uh, yep we got a pink one of those cool playmaker so we got the saffron your mains uh, we got some lime Gaidens, cobalt sky blue two of the pink import twinsers saffron here we got the crimson which is really really solid some standard stuff again a couple import trade-ups for these absolutely fantastic sweeper purple that's solid solid pickup there uh what is this just paragon ones standard ones yep another twinser 
black sniper chakram so those were black these again i'm i'm super pumped about this i told you guys we definitely got the the lone wolf octane lone wolf painted white so huge thumbs up for that pumped about that purple twins are big fan of that do we have a cobalt one of these already i don't think so another a cobalt one of these we got two titanium white dominus funny books again great trade fodder in my opinion we got aviator titanium white reapers so again just look at look at this little this little triad right here of uh just freaking awesome titanium white items lime turtle gadens i think we had purple uh, of that we did get this oh so cobalt again don't these look sky blue guys anyways so cobalt chocks titanium white comet absolutely awesome so our white luck was just nuts uh, we got the forest green chocks right there uh, let's see, burnt sienna of those, purple of those, forest green of these, sky blue of those. Uh, we got that burnt sienna. We got the orange acrobat. Again, the two, <laughs> the freaking two dissolvers, nine pearlescent mats. So that's uh, pretty much two very rares right there, which is great. Sky blue victor, uh, funny book, another lime, one of these, a forest green twinser. Uh, and then, I mean, two crates in <laughs> we got the <laughs> titanium white dracos i mean i there's nothing else to say besides these three items right here and then you throw all the extra little stuff the white lone wolf the white dominus the white comet uh you know the purple the the painted bodies purple painted bodies and everything that we got um solid opening solid opening guys that's it again trade up uh episode coming soon as soon as we can get it together thank you so very much for hanging with me for this really long episode but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you skip to the end you missed it go back watch some of the highlights because they're, they're just awesome just absolutely awesome thank you so very much for hanging out with me doc from average gamer guys enjoy the holiday weekend enjoy whatever day this ends up being for you hopefully you're having a good one thank you so much for the support doc from average gamer guys catch you in the next one thanks for watching